Hey fam, what's up? It's April here. Today I am bringing you my long-awaited bookshelf tour. This is by far my number one requested video, so it's happening. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear the air conditioning, but it is impossible to film when it is like 100 degrees, okay? So, sorry. So let's get to it. I'll just answer some questions that I know I will get in the comments. Um, my bookshelves are the Ikea Billy bookshelves. I have four large ones and one small one in the corner. There is one bookshelf I won't be showing you today, and it is one of my large ones. And that is because it is entirely filled with Harry Potter stuff and I'm going to do a separate video showing you everything that I own in my Harry Potter collection. So that will include the shelf tour of all of my Harry Potter stuff on there. And as to how they're organized, it's kind of confusing because on this shelf I barely have any like real books. I just have these two shelves of series. And then the corner bookshelf is kind of a mishmash of stuff like classics, mainly classics. And then the rest is all of my other read and unread books in rainbow. And then down the bottom I have manga and graphic novels. So on the first shelf on the top we have just a wedding photo and a fake bouquet of flowers. And my latest journal which I it is so full I cannot fit anything else in it. I might do a journal flip through, maybe, possibly and a little coaster from an Outcrate box that I got recently. And then moving down, I have just two unicorn bookends, a picture of my old dog, and this amazing huge Hufflepuff scarf that my mum and my grandma knitted me, and this little Darth Vader just chilling there. And then next we have my Sarah J Mass shelf. I have every book of hers in paperback and hardcover. I'm not gonna pull them all out because you've probably seen them a thousand times before. The only one I'm missing is my paperback copy of Throne of Glass because my sister has it hidden in her house somewhere and hasn't given it back. I also have this You Could Rattle the Stars notebook that was a pre-order deal and this cute little Queen of Terracin notepad that I got in a subscription box. Okay, the next shelf down I have more of my series. I have a little BB-8 Funko here. Then I have my extremely well-loved copy of the Del Toro Quest series bind up by Emily Rodder, which um, like look how worn that is. This is the book series that got me into reading when I was 10 years old. Then I have a Hunger Games trilogy box set. It's a hardcover box set and I'm not gonna pull them out because pulling books out of their box set box is just a mission and a half. Then we have my Twilight series. I'm currently missing my edition of Twilight. I lent it out to a friend and I don't know if I'll ever get it back which is really sad to me because this box set is really sentimental to me. My sister bought it for me and Twilight was such a big part of my life so I'm really really sad about that and I don't know what to do because even the hardcovers are like they're different from the normal hardcovers. So pretty devo about that. Then we have my Infernal Devices box set. It's the paperbacks and the Mortal Instruments box set as well. And then down the bottom is really nothing exciting. I have all of my current notebooks and journals that I'm using, current library books that I have out, just some random stuff, my uni textbooks and Pokemon books and some more uni stuff and picture books. Moving on to my corner bookshelf, the top shelf has my Jane Eyre collection. So first I have this little um, wax melt burner thing that I got in my latest Outcrate. And then I have two books that aren't Jane Eyre, but they sort of just fit perfectly here. So we have Lady Susan by Jane Austen and The Night is Darkening Round Me by Emily Bronte. Then we have the latest vintage classics edition of Jane Eyre, a movie copy of Jane Eyre. This is probably my favorite Jane Eyre adaptation. This beautiful Penguin Classics edition, it's kind of like hardcover but not at the same time. I don't really know how to explain it. We have my much loved Barnes and Noble edition. It is so beautiful. The next shelf houses my Penguin English Library collection as well as a hardcover Penguin, Penguin Classics edition. So we have Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy, Viet by Charlotte Bronte, 
Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, Wives and Daughters by Elizabeth Gaskell, Shirley by Charlotte Bronte, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens, Middlemarch by George Eliot, and Evelina by Frances Burney. And then the last book on this shelf is this edition of Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte that one of my best friends Brittany bought for me in England. I even kept the English bookmark that she bought me inside because it's so special. The next shelf down houses no books. Um, it has one of our wedding photos, a fake plant, and a candle and a cat because you know I have my priorities straight obviously. The next shelf down we have my bookmark collection which is in my chip mug that I got from Disneyland. Then we have a Sailor Moon and Luna Funko and Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls which is one of my favorite books that I read last year. Next we have a Mother of Dragons candle from Form and Flux and then we have this fake stack of books that I've had in my family for ever since I can remember, so I stole them to put on my bookshelf. Then we have an Outlander companion because I was obsessed with Outlander a couple of years ago. And we have this bind up edition that's super old of Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. The bottom shelf is a little bit hard to see, I apologize, but it houses my Anne of Green Gables collection. Anne of Green Gables was my first favorite classic that I read. So the first thing I have is this soap that's actually Lord of the Rings themed that I got in a subscription box. And we also have a candle that I got in an owl crate. It isn't Anna Green Gable scene but it is green so it goes well. <laughs> then we have my favorite edition of the book, the Puffin in Bloom edition. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Then we have my matching set of the series. I love these covers. These are by Sourcebooks Fire. We have the first one, Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, Anne of the Island, Anne of Windy Poplars, Anne's House of Dreams, and Anne of Ingleside. And then the other three editions I have are super special. We have the Barnes & Noble Classics Edition, which you can't really find in Australia anywhere. I searched for ages anyway, so this came straight from America. Then we have the Folio Books Edition, which is basically beautiful. I also had to buy that second hand. And another book that I found which is no longer in print is this gorgeous edition. It's so beautiful, it's illustrated, and it has blue page edges and it is just a delight. Okay moving on to the super exciting rainbow shelves. Sorry this ankle is kind of funky. It is a top shelf and it's kind of hard to film. So we have The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Another edition of Wuthering Heights. I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Goo. How to Be a Woman by Caitlin Moran. Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. Invictus by Ryan Gordon. Thomas Hardy's Tess of the D'Urbervilles. The Outsiders by S. Hinton, Animal Farm by George Orwell, My Place by Sally Morgan, Emily of New Moon by Ellen Montgomery, It by Stephen King, Ross Poldark by Winston Graham, The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand, The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell, Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness, Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, The Barontes Biography by Juliet Barker, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, Leia Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray, This Stormtrooper Funko which is in my way right now, Hurdles All the Way Down down by John Green and Rejane by Patricia Park. Moving right along, we have Salem's Lot by Stephen King, Just One Day by Gail Foreman, The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Draper, The Final Empire by Brandy Sandy as I like to call him, Warcross by Marie Lu, Just One Year by Gail Foreman, and the novella that comes afterwards, Just One Night, The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas, Disruption by Jessica Sherbington, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Do You Want to Start a Scandal by Tessa Dare, Matilda by Roald Dahl, Princess in Pink by Meg Cabot, Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall, Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, LBD The Great Escape by Grace Dent, Princess in Waiting, and the masterpiece that is The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. This bind up of Everything is Illuminated and Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer, Final Girls by Riley Sager, Moxie by Jennifer Matthew, How Hard Can Love Be by Holly Bourne, Because You Love to Hate Me edited by Amory and Golden Boy by Abigail Tartuan. Onto the purple shelf, purple going into blue I should say, we have A Lady by Midnight by Tessa Dare, Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Across the Universe by Beth Revis, The Del Toro Quest Series 3 Bind Up by Emily Rodder, Princess in Love by Meg Cabot, That Inevitable Victorian Thing by E.K. Johnston, Bachman Books by Stephen King writing as Richard Bachman, Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, How to Abduct a Highland Lord by Karen Hawkins, Feed by M.T. Anderson, one of the most thought-provoking books I've ever read, A Million Sons by Beth Revis, Dreamer's Pool by 
Juliet Marillier, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Crest by Marissa Meyer, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton and Jody Meadows, When Michael Met Mina by Randa Abdel Fattah, Sabriel by Garth Nix, The Taking by Kimberly Dirting, Winter by Marissa Meyer, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, aka the best book in the world. And last on the shelf we have Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. Continuing on with my blue books, we have a Jon Snow Funko, he can just go over there. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. This 1980 abridged version of The Stand by Stephen King. This is super hard to find. Well, it's not super hard to find, it's just kind of expensive. Worlds of Ink and Shadow by Lena Coakley. Want by Cindy Pond. Sleeping Beauties by Stephen and Owen King. The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Almost Midnight by Rainbow Rowell. If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. When the Moon is Low by Nadia Hashimi. Christy by Catherine Marshall. Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. Landscape with Invisible Hand by M.T. Anderson. Call Me By Your Name by Andre Asman. Queens of the Conquest by Alison Weir. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And last on this shelf is Any Duchess Will Do by Tessa Dare. Moving on down we have more blue books. Apparently I just have a ton of blue books. We have Starcursed by Jessica Spotswood. The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. How to Be Single by Liz Tochillo. On the Island by Tracy Garvis Grays. Gem by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. One of my favourite biographies ever, Charlotte Bronte, A Life by Claire Harmon. Whisper by Chrissy Keery. Rising Strong by Brene Brown. Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. The Glass Town Game by Catherine M. Valente. Human Acts by Han Kang. What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. Before I Die by Jenny Downham. The Naturals Book 2, Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The Reason I Jump by Naoki Higashida. LBD, It's a Girl Thing by Grace Dent. When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Ardier, This Is Not a Test by Courtney Summers, Forever Princess by Meg Cabot, A Week to Be Wicked by Tessa Dare, and Say Yes to the Marquess by Tessa Dare, Princess in the Spotlight by Meg Cabot, The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart, and Royal Wedding by Meg Cabot. And we are still on blue books. Can you believe it? The Blue Castle by Ellen Montgomery. The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. Shatter Me and Unravel Me by Tejera Murphy. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. I Am, I Am, I Am by Maggie O'Farrell. Asking For It by Louise O'Neill. When a Scot Ties the Knot by Tessa Dare. To Scotland with Love by Karen Hawkins. The Song of Susanna by Stephen King. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. Ignite Me by Taha Damasi. Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. Autumn in Scotland by Karen Ranney. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Night Shift by Stephen King. Princess on the Brink by Meg Cabot. My Little Groot. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. And last on this shelf and helping to transition into green we have Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. The next shelf down, we have Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, Shades of Earth by Beth Revis, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Girl in Keller's Way by Megan Golden, Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, Hunted by Megan Spooner, Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan, Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon Maguire, Wildwood Dancing by Juliette Marillier, a nice new edition of Del Toro Quest series one. Dewey by Vicky Myron. The Body Electric by Beth Revis. Party Princess by Meg Cabot. Temple by Matthew Riley. Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. Wild Swans by Jung Chang. Does My Head Look Big in This by Randa Abdel Fattah. Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. The Stand by Stephen King, the unabridged version, aka The Brick. And Noteworthy by Riley Redgate. Moving over to Yellow, we have Heidi by Joanna Spirey. Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne, Brain on Fire by Susanna Cahalan, and A Happy New Year by Holly Bourne, The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel, Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, Victoria the Queen by Julia Baird, Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worsley, The Shining by Stephen King, A Night to Surrender by Tessa Dare, Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott, Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Princess in Training by Meg Cabot, Homegoing by Yard Jessie, Pachinko by 
Min Jin Lee, Sister's Fate by Jessica Spotswood, Every Falling Star by Sung Ju Lee and Susan McClelland, Hunger by Michael Grant, my copy of the first book Gone is currently being lent out, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ardia, and Princess Mia by Meg Cabot. Moving down to my red shelf, we have a little Jamie Funko just chillin'. We have Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare, What's a Girl Gotta Do by Holly Bourne, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, The Witches by Roald Dahl, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertelli, and we have another copy of Outlander, this is the TV tie-in, A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langell, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, The Great Zoo of China by Matthew Riley, The Last Wish by Andre Zabkowski, Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley, To Catch a Highlander by Karen Hawkins, The Princess Diarist by Carrie Fisher, The Fiery Cross by Diana Gabaldone, The Memoirs of Lady Haigyong, translated by Jo Hyun Kim Habush, Everything Beautiful is Not Ruined by Danielle Young Ullman, She Wolves, The Women Who Ruled England Before Elizabeth by Helen Castor, The Bind Up of the Second Del Toro Quest series by Emily Rodder, The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco, Paper and Fire by Rachel Kane, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and The Queen of Blood by Sarah Beth Durst. Moving over, we are starting to move into my black books. We have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, Maud by Melanie J. Fishbane, Carrie by Stephen King, Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, The Too Far Trilogy by Abby Glines, Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay, Career of Evil by Robert Galbraith, The Glass Spare by Lauren DeStefano, Flame in the Mist by Renee Ardier, All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman, Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, An Arc of Nixia by Scott Rankin, A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers, Rebel Soul by Axie O, Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinbro, The Book Thief by Marcus Susak. We have Toothless, he's so cute. We have Fault in Our Stars by John Green and Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. We have made it to the last shelf before my manga and graphic novels. First we have Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle, a second copy of Before I Die by Jenny Downham, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, Waking Gods by Sylvain Nouvelle, Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shannon Maguire, Stars Above and Cinder by Marissa Meyer, In Order to Live by Yonmi Park, Elod by Curtis Sittenfeld, The Professor by Charlotte Bronte, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows, The Interrogation of a Charlotte Wolf by Anne Boleyn Quimelina, Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James, Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill, Talking to My Country by Stan Grant, The Diviners by Libba Bray, The Dry by Jane Harper, A Hardcover Edition of The Bachman Books by Stephen King, and lastly, The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson. Okay, we are finally on the last shelf of manga and graphic novels. So first we have Orange Volumes 1 and 2 by Ichigo Takano. We have Volumes 1 to 4 of Attack on Titan. Randomly I have books 1 and 5 of the Del Toro Quest manga. I have volumes 1, 2, and 3 of Monster by Naoki Urasawa. Each of these has two volumes inside. Same with these editions of Death Note by Tsugumi Oba. We have The Infernal Devices Clockwork Angel, the graphic novel, a manga adaptation of Jane Eyre, Thornhill by Pam Smy, Why is a Nerve Volume 1 by Marissa Meyer, and the art is by Doug Holgate, the Anne of Green Gables graphic novel by Mariah Marsden and Brenna Thumler, Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, Avatar The Search Part 1, I really want to collect all of these one day when I win the lottery. <laughs> then we have volumes 1, 2 and 3 of March which is by John Lewis, Andrew Aiden, and Nate Powell. We have volumes 1, 2, and 3 of Alex and Ada by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughan. Volumes 1, 2, and 3, oh wow, of Rat Queens by Curtis J. Weeb. And then we have all eight volumes of Saga that are out so far. I'm not going to pull them all out, but there's eight out and it is my favorite graphic novel series. So that is it for my 2018 bookshelf tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Goodbye.